Welcome to SolidWorks. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to design this model. So, first I am going to change material AISI1020. So, click on edit material and now select AISI1020. So, now click on unit and change unit as IPS. Now, select top plane and draw a center line from here to here ok now say uh, one straight line ok from here to here and a straight line now change it into arc ok now you can see uh, it is straight and now you can see from here to here looking like this so I'm trying to draw like this so close it now it's time to change the dimension so click on it and type one inch now select this and type change it value as uh, Point one to five, point one to five. Sorry, point one to five. Okay, now uh, I'm going to change from here to here. Its dimension is six to five, point six to five. Sorry. 0.625 okay now you can change uh, other dimension other dimension is uh, 0.375 so select this and type 0.375 okay now check other dimension the gap between two lines point two five zero enter okay now from here to here it is one inch okay now the diameter is 0.5625 from here to here 0.5626 divided by 2 ok next 5625 0.5625 ok now uh, the diameter is 0 0.263 0 0.263 divided by 2 now radius is 0 0.6250 Point six two five zero. Okay, now check other dimension. Okay, okay, now click on here and fully define sketch. Click on okay. So, somewhere something missing. Okay, select it, make it horizontal and select its my dimension and see the diameter of the okay, it is equal. So I'm going to select this and select this, select this line, select this line.
make it collinear. Now it's fully defined. Exit. Go here and select revolve. I revolve it. Click on OK. Now here the chamfer is 0 0.050. So select type chamfer value 0 0.505. Select this face. Uh, sorry, click on it. 0 0.50, 0 0.050. Point zero five zero enter. So click on OK. Now any other dimension? OK. The radius here fillet added. So radius point zero one zero. Radius point zero one zero. So click on OK. Now it's final object and uh, save as. A RAM head save RAM head now click on save thank you for watching see you in next tutorial till then bye and take care